Welcome to the May 6th post Cinco de Mayo house meeting. The first thing that you'll notice today is that you have three different MCs. You have me, Miss Coach Fassel, Miss Campbell, and Mr. Coach D are going to be your MCs today. The very first person that we have to speak to you today is Miss Nikayla Fitzgerald from Layman High School. Hello everyone, my name is Michaela. I want to talk to Chapa as well, and I just want to let y'all know that y'all should always do what you love, always stick with your passion, because you never know like where that can lead you. For example, I have been running track with me my whole life, and I never would have thought like I would be able to compete at this high level. I compete at the state track meet tomorrow, and I also will be... I also will be attending um, college while running track, so I just want to let y'all know, always keep with your passion, always do what you love, and don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. Thank you, Nikayla, for coming and talking to our Chapa Cougar. She's a great example of passion first, always pursuing her athletic abilities. We have a very special appreciation poster to share with Miss Jossie. We would like to say a huge thank you to Nurse Jossie for her amazing work this year. Thank you for doing your best to keep us safe and healthy. Do we have Miss Jossie here with us? Okay, Miss Jossie is on her way. And while you are at it, while you're sitting in your classrooms, whether you're in person or on Zoom, can you please type or tell your teacher thank you. It is thank you, thank you, teacher appreciation week. Say thank you to your teacher right now. Those of you in the cafeteria, turn to your nearest teacher. Thank you. Hi, Miss Jossie. Miss Jossie, we have a digital version of this poster here, but we just wanted to say thank you for being the most amazing nurse. Do you have anything you want to say to the children? I love y'all. Even whenever y'all annoy her. <laughs> thank you, Nurse Jossie. We appreciate everything you do for us. She's had a pretty tough year with COVID this year, keeping track of everything. We really appreciate her. I just want to add about Passion First, this amazing woman had her knee replaced over the summer and has continued to swim, ride bikes. Y'all, she rides miles and miles and miles of bikes. She's an amazing athlete. So talk about Passion First. She is very outdoorsy and continues her passion. Thank you, Nurse Chelsea. We appreciate you. Now she has to scream back off to me. <laughs> We have our tennis challenge. We started a new slip today. If you did not get a new punch card, please let your third or fourth period teacher know so that we can get you a new punch card. If you're here for the next eight days, what's the next prize, Mr. Bella? Uh, I don't know if the next one is a slip or a Nintendo Switch. Um, possibly a Nintendo Switch. Okay, it's breakfast and lunch with Eight of your closest friends, not including Miss Fassel. Oh, I'll be the ninth person. And so we're doing our drawing again on the 18th. Then after that, we'll do our last drawing on the last day of school, which is May 28th. I know a lot of you are looking forward to that Nintendo Switch. Um, keep coming to school. Get your cards punched. Talk to your third or fourth grade teacher if they didn't punch your cards. Okay. Next thing we're going to talk about is something that you're looking forward to that we're going to try to get you to as soon as possible today, which is cougar time during your lit time. So we're going to continue to have open gym and open track. We'll have concessions. We'll have Kona ice. We are determining eligibility from these based off of this color coding schedule. So today, if you were failing, then, and you are not aqua or green, if you are a yellow or red, then you aren't going to be able to go to Cougar time today. But on May 13th, you have the option to go to Cougar time as long as you are aqua or green. 
okay? So if you're not failing any of your classes, you're in the clear. If you are failing one of your classes, take a look up here right now, commit to memory how many classes you have to be passing. Mr. Thomas says all of them, all the time, with one one hundreds, all the time. If you have questions about that, please ask your advisory teacher. They're the person who can help you, okay? Ask your advisory teacher. Um, we do have our UIL Academic Awards and our UIL Band Awards. And I'm welcoming Ms. Campbell here right now. Okay, so let's recognize our UIL band kids. We've got Ms. Campbell to read off their names. Hi everybody, I'm Ms. Campbell and I'm Cooper Pride. All right, if you are here in the cafeteria and you hear your name, you're gonna go up to Ms. Tracy. She will give you, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to read UIL Band Awards. Unless, Mr. Fuente, do you want to read it? Sure, I'll read it. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Very, very proud of these students. A very hard year for the performing arts, as anybody might guess. It's been a very difficult year, but we're very proud of our students. And this year, we've had some of the most students make, um, make it into the region band. These students prepared pieces. Yes, round of applause. These students prepared these pieces on their own and had to record them and submit them and go up against students from all over the Austin area. So, students that made the concert band on flute, we have Emma Gunn, Bassoon, Jackson Harris, Clarinet, Faith Leffingwell, Alex Schubach, Saul Gutierrez, tenor sax, Jason Becerra, trumpet, Steven Garcia, Trombone, Isaac Rivas, Antonio, Brandon Abramson, and Alyssa West. Um, it's in the symphonic band, which is one band um, higher up, on the euphonium, seventh grader is Zayden Sanchez. <laughs> Round of applause for these students. We are very excited for them. They now get to participate in, a, in an event where they're going to record part of, them, uh, part of a piece of music that they're going to put together in a big collage. So that way the students can all perform together virtually and safely. Thank you. Where the MCs at?
Now we do have Ms. Crikey over here in the corner. If you hear your name, tell the students that are near you that you see their name up here to head over to the table, okay? All right, first up, we have art students. No, no, it's not that I'm biased and they're my favorite, but. Okay, I'm gonna just quickly try to name these off, so if you hear your, if you hear your name, come on up here, around the cafeteria. All right, art drawing, fourth place, Samantha Medina. Painting, fourth place, Caroline Valenzuela. Painting, third place, Emma Gunn. Painting, fourth place, Violet Gilliam. Painting, fourth place, Staley Ruiz. Miscellaneous, third place, Tammy Lara. Miscellaneous, fifth place, Vivian Widget. Miscellaneous, fourth place, Elijah Rodriguez Burke. And 3D Sculpture, our first place, District Champion, Arden Schumann. Congratulations. All right, here's some more. I need to remember to breathe, wow. Chess puzzle, second place, Trinity Wilson. Chess puzzle, sixth place, Sabrina Gomez. Chess puzzle, sixth place, Matthias Eifling. Dictionary skills, first place, district champ, Addison Jones. Dictionary skills, another first place, district champ, Joshua Powers. Dictionary skills. Wow. First place again. Nicholas Newton. Wow. Amazing. All right. Wow. Editorial oh, writing. Fifth place. Myra Flores. Editorial writing. Fifth place. Stella Basurovic. Sorry if I told you that. Editorial writing. Sixth place. Alyssa Dibble. Impromptu speaking. Third place. Vivian Widget. Impromptu speaking, fourth place, Jonas Taylor. Impro sorry, math, individual, Josh Power. Listening skills, second place, Caitlin Laughlin. Listening skills, third place, Clara Gonzalez. Listening skills, sixth place, Evan Moriarty. Editorial writing, fifth place, Myra Flores. Oops, I my place. You only get one ribbon. <laughs> Maps, charts, and graphs. First place district champion, Clara Gonzalez. <laughs> Maps, charts, and graphs. Sixth place, Constantine Reyes. Maps, charts, and graphs. Another first place, Kayla Dabrowski. Maps, charts, and graphs. Fourth place, Morgan Bennett. Modern Oratory, fifth place, Zoe Livingston. Modern Oratory, fourth place, Emma De Silva Quinteros. <laughs> Music Memory, second place, we've got a group, Devin Denman, Skylar Ardwin, and Harper Bircher. <laughs> Number Sense, second place, Isaac Rivas. <laughs> Modern, or nope. Modern Oratory, fifth place, Zoe Livingston. Modern Oratory, fourth place, Emma De Silva Quinteros. Oral Reading, sixth place, Faith Rodriguez. Oral Reading, third place, Jonas Taylor. Ready Writing, first place, District Champion, Clara Gonzalez. Ready Writing, second place, Stella Basirovic. Ready Writing, sixth place, Tomasa Contreras. Science, first place, district champion, Constantine Reyes. Science, first place, Sabrina Gomez. Science, sixth place, Emma Adams. Social studies, fourth place, Cami Lara. Spanish oral reading, third place, Ruby Gonzalez. Spanish oral reading, fifth place, Diego Gonzalez. Spanish oral reading, sixth place, Lazaro Gutierrez. Spelling, sixth place, Alana Cordero. Team Math, third place. We've got Kayla Dabrowski, Leila Gomez, and Miranda Benavidez. Wow, congratulations to everybody. That's a lot of winners. I'm very proud of everyone who participated. Thank you so much.
Congratulations. Next up, we have our own teacher of the year, Mr. Coach Antonary. Woo! To announce his amazing passion project winners. Thank you kindly. All right, I know uh, Passion Project probably been bugging you about that. I'm really proud of these guys. For sure, we had five overall winners who received the most votes. Uh, we had about 48 people who voted for this. And by far and away, uh, Constantine Reyes got 152 points with the most first place votes. Uh, he talked about wireless charging and being the way of the future. Give it up for Constantine, my man right there. What's up, Constantine? Great job, buddy. Proud of you. He won an amazing fire tablet. All right, second place was Kayla Dabrowski. She did a great job with her poster board artifact explaining her passion for volleyball, taking home 72 points. Uh, she had so much detail, you can tell she generally cares about her teammates. So great job, Kayla. Third place is actually a tie. Uh, one of them was Emma Adams. Uh, Emma explained the science behind, she explained the science behind music and how the brain reacts to it. Uh, she also explains her love of music and, and uh, understand why music makes you happy in general. Emma earned 62 points for a project and I'm super proud of Emma. Right, fourth place, no, try again, third place tie, um, Stella Aserovic. Uh, she is a world traveler, and her artifact was a poster board showcasing all of the adventures she has been uh, around the world. Stella also earned 62 points for her project, and she is also a super soccer star for Chapa. Give it up for Stella. All right, and then the final winner of the Passion Project was Dia Al Asadi. Uh, Dia earned 47 points showcasing his love for food. Interesting. He made green rice, chicken, and potatoes. He explained how he cooked his meal and his love of eating. Dia has grown so much, it is about as tall as I am. Uh, I remember when Dia was like literally about this tall, and I hadn't seen him all year, and it was a surprise when he was looking me dead in the eyes when I came to his house to give him his award. So, great job, Dia, super proud of you. Look forward to you, man. Give it up one more time for Passion Project. All right, and before we do student of the month, yes, no, reasons, reasons, yes, Lacey, are we doing, yeah, sure, all right, great, we are pretty much going to do this, get it out the way, so student of the month, or Miss Ardwin is, oh, we got to practice our cooter clap, so everybody, one, two, three, we can do better, one, two, three, thank you. Miss Ardwin, student of the month is Riley Knudsen, acting student of the month is Aiden Looney, Block student of the month is Bella Green, Arnett student of the month is Brianna Ponce, Ushimi student of the month is Siley Ruiz, oh, I said that right? Campbell's Student of the Month is Viviana Ramos. Carson's Student of the Month is Asher McCain. Jennifer's Student of the Month is Perla Jaramillo. Cochrane's Student of the Month is Emma Da Silva Quinteros. Cohen's Student of the Month is Carrie Green. Quella's Student of the Month is Olivia Noel Diaz. His Coach D's Student of the Month is Aiden Hickey. Daniel's student of the month is Julius Nagatia. What is that? Yeah, student of the month is, is Jonathan that? Rodriguez. Duarte's student of the month is Skyler Long. Miss Coach Fassel's student of the month is Cooper Gardner. Fernandez's student of the month is Ray Romagnello. Foulet's student of the month is Bristol Stone. GP's student of the month is Maya Lipsky. Can Ms. Garcia student of the month is Elena Guevara Orete. Senior Garcia Almanar student of the month is Sanaya Porter. Garza student of the month is Jadlene Salazar. Yeah! Uh, Glidewell student of the month is Leila Gomez. Harold student of the month is Cassandra Garcia. 
Coach Hernandez Student of the Month is Olivia Montoya. Hollinger Student of the Month is Jonas Taylor. Jimenez is Student of the Month is Renee Omar. Johnson is Student of the Month is Katie Huerta. Richie Student of the Month is Sophia Mario. Litchie Student of the Month is Aaron Contreras. Maldonado Student of the Month is Carly Thomas. Miss Coach Martinez Student of the Month is Morgan Bennett. Coach R. Martinez Student of the Month is Vanessa Gonzalez. Mrs. Martinez Student of the Month is Andrea Murillo. Perez Student of the Month is Giancarlo Prieto. Posey Student of the Month is Serenity Sherrill. Puente Student of the Month is Ty Coe. Queen Student of the Month is Angelo Santoy. Riandu, Student of the Month is Edgar Mendoza Reyes. You think he likes toppies? That's a possibility. Rodriguez, Student of the Month is Harper Bouchard. Sackowitz, Student of the Month is Anthony Mata. Sanders, Student of the Month is Christopher Ledesma. Santoyo, Student of the Month is Elizabeth Romero. Sorrow, Student of the Month is Kyrie Flores. Schmidt Holcomb Fule Student of the Month is Jacob Adames. Shelton Student of the Month is Bella Moreno Ruiz. Sweet Student of the Month is Gloria Payne. Mrs. Taylor Student of the Month is Dakota Avila. Mr. Taylor Student of the Month is Harper Burchard. Turn it up, Harper. I see you, girl. Mm -hmm. I see you. Thomas Student of the Month is Caitlin Upmore and Caitlin Laughlin. I don't think you can uh, decipher which one was Caitlin. Thompson Student of the Month is Miracle Maddox. Townsend Student of the Month is Domingo Clark. Coach U Student of the Month is Tristan McDonald. Dr. Zane Student of the Month is Tristan McDonald. And Zapenta Student of the Month is Evan Morales. And that is it. Give it a more time for our Student of the Month. Miss Castle. And we have rock stars. Rock star. So you want to be a rock superstar? Why, Alice? Why? Tell me. Why am I never a rock right. star? I do the most. Okay, we've got six great rock stars: are Asher McCain and Dakota Avila. Seven great rock stars are Aaron Contreras, Aaron Contreras, Bella Green, and Alice Ramirez. Yeah! <laughs> and then the eighth grade is Viviana yeah! Ramos and Jonas Taylor. Rock stars, all right. Alice. We have NJHS members here to announce their teacher of the week. Who is my teacher? I'll look in a minute. Hold on. Hi, my name is Kai Vaughn and I'm to the drive. students stay on track and when someone doesn't know how to do something. This teacher is Mr. Coach Shelton. Yes, it is. And while he's coming down the stairs, he's going to come up here. So the girls, ladies and gentlemen, come right back and he'll mosey on the way up here. Uh, I am Ms. Cochran and I am Cooper Pride. And I'm about to brag on Michaela because Michaela is very modest and quiet and shy and she's very reserved and she's not going to say anything. But remember that the
this is a student who was sitting in the seats you are sitting at. She was in these halls where you are walking. And she is a Junior Olympic hopeful, as in United States Olympics. As in amazing for the country and her, her country for the world. And she, of course, is not going to tell you that because she's super shy about it and she keeps to herself. But if you will please give her another huge round of applause. Pretty amazing. And those other two young ladies over there are constantly battling out because one, because they're twins, and two, because they're amazing. But the power twins, as they are called, are athletic, amazing, they are academic, amazing, they are kind and compassionate, amazing. All three of these young ladies are role models. They are servants to other people. They are kind, they are gracious, they are modest. They are here to make the world a better place, each one of them. And they battle for perfection in every area. They are passion first in every area that they can possibly be in. And they are even battling for valedictorian and salutatorian of the graduating class of 2021. You will please give them a huge, huge hand. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, yes. So, valedictorian and salutatorian means child highest in the grade level and child two highest in the grade level academically out of everybody graduating at Wayman High School. So, if you will please give them a huge round of applause for that. And here is Mr. Shanty. And I'm going to brag on him because he's not going to say it. He, he said, No, that's okay. He just got engaged! Yeah. And she said, Yes! Yes! Yeah. That is so exciting. Any time that we can celebrate right now, we need to celebrate. And if that's celebrating excellence in athletics, if that's celebrating excellence in band, band, I'm so impressed with you guys. Excellence in academics, all these things. Celebrate. This is the time to do that. Last thing, if you are an NJHS, if you got any kind of a letter, you have a Schoology classroom that popped up that said Schoology NJHS a few weeks ago, you have an email, you need to check it. Induction ceremony. Monday and Tuesday. Some people are on Monday, some, they, they are, some people on Tuesday. Check your schedule to see if you're Monday or Tuesday. If you don't know, please ask Ms. Cochran. If you don't know, ask your parents. If you don't know, check your email. I'm in room 113 if you have any questions. All right, you guys. Let's everybody stand up. Those of you who are in your classrooms, the louder you are, the quicker Ms. Miranda will release you for the good time. Yes, after we release, if you got your UIL award, please come up to the stage so that we can take a picture with you. All right, here you go. They kicked me out of being an MC. All right, nobody cares. Hey.